Hi guys, this is Lisha from Scholar Moon Creations and I am back with a new video. This is day one of the 12 days of Yule challenge by Ivy Leo. Okay, so before I officially get into the video, let's talk about a little bit what's going on in the world and what uh, you can do to help and support. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is not something I've never done before. I have done this in uh, years past when uh, issues have gotten so great I can't ignore them. And I'm aware that not everybody has access to uh, the same information. And so I share it in the ways that I know how this is not a judgment of you or anyone else. This is not me uh, trying to be better than anyone else. This is just sharing of information. Um, there is the ongoing genocide of the Palestinian peoples and the attempts to remove them from their land to find out more information and ways to support, whether monetarily, uh, food, clothing, or um, internet access. There are links in the description down below for all that I've mentioned and more, including books to read. So you can learn um, people you can follow on various social media accounts who are on the ground and sharing what they are going through please uh, do take care of yourself when you look at that stuff it is not pretty it's not even close to pretty and in addition to that I've also shared links in the description for what is happening in the Republic of Congo if you are not aware there's basically slavery happening in uh, the mines which are used uh, to find the materials that um, are often used in our electronics our phones our laptops our computers etc our televisions and more so um, unfortunately, a lot of these natives are children and they are not given proper food, shelter, water is not even uh, drinkable, potable water is not even available most of the time. And this is like the only word I can use really encompasses how terrible this is. So, to find out more, and for ways you can help, whether it's donating um, or we don't need to be purchasing brand new electronics every year. These companies do this because the demand is there so they feel they have to supply or they offer the supply as a uh, temptation almost. Um, keeping up with the Joneses is how it is on our end of the thing and we, we don't really need to. I personally have used back market for my last two cell phones which is a refurbished used source. I can't afford the latest thing anyway so having a couple of years old phone is what I can do and so that's an option for you as well. That, that is all. I'm just supplying the information. You do with it what you will. No judgment here. Now on to the purpose of this video, 12 Days of Yule. So I wasn't going to do this. I told myself no vlogmas this year and you know you have your end of the year videos already so it's a lot, right? It is. I know because I <laughs> go through this. Uh, at the end of the, every every year um, here on YouTube, but um, every day Ivy has provided us with a topic or a prompt for what our videos 
or content should be and you'll get roughly 12 videos I think mine is gonna wind up being 10 because there's two topics I don't really have lots to say about but I might shoehorn that in anyway the today's prompt or topic is to share a winter solstice ritual or tradition first I want to start off by saying for me the winter solstice and I'm a, a practicing Wiccan if you're unaware um, it's one of the sabbats it's like a season so it's not just one day everything is from one day and then we're done I realize I kind of hate that um, not just for winter solstice but for any holiday um, I understand marking a specific day but it's also um, or I should say more so the whole societal pressure of trying to do everything by this deadline and then once that day passes it's like who on to the next thing and you know I kind of want to marinate in the feeling of what we're celebrating um so winter solstice is not just december 21st or whenever it falls astrologically every year it is the 21st this year um when this video is up <sighs> to make my life less stressful and to make the season more enjoyable particularly this one this is the darkest time of year the 21st is like the longest night, shortest day, but the days leading up to it are pretty dark. And the days after it are still pretty dark even though they're getting longer and it's cold. I don't particularly love this time of year, but I appreciate all of the holidays that happen because they give more chances for me to perk up. And it's just more enjoyable to have your celebrations spread out and not just be focused on one specific day. I am the high priestess in a coven and so we have rituals that we do for this time of year that are old bound. So for me personally, I don't really do rituals outside of that anymore. Don't feel the need to. Um, However, I do have cultural, familial, and personal things that I do do uh, for myself around this time of year. And again, that's why I don't really do a whole elaborate ritual. If something happens like COVID, we couldn't do in-person coven ritual stuff. So that's different. But this being this time of year, it's not necessary. My family is majority, majority raised Christian or Catholic, not really practicing too much anymore. So we usually have like a very secular Christmas get together. Um, and a big thing, a big tradition is exchanging gifts. And to be honest, this could be Christmas or Three Kings Day because my mother's side of the family is Puerto Rican so we have Hispanic traditions as well and in Puerto Rico on the island it is and in, in a lot of uh, diaspora here in New York City you you give gifts on January 6th not on uh, December 25th so depending on life and whatever that's what happens um, I exchange gifts with my cousin, my coven, excuse me, and just that whole gift giving thing, thinking of others, um, and like what they like and what they need and like kind of dressing it up or decorating it. I do enjoy that tradition. Another thing in my family is the fact that we, everybody's birthdays are like from September to January and I know that seems like a really giant half of the year <laughs> so what's the big deal is that but this is also the time of year when there's a lot of holidays smushed in so um, any weeks 
that's not a holiday it's somebody's birthday and so there's just a lot of celebrating big celebrations small celebrations cozy celebrations partying out and about celebrations and um it's you know just celebrating the people around you and love and that kind of thing i appreciate culturally uh there's this idea of like having everything all of your clothes clean like all of your laundry clean before new year's day and that includes the big stuff that you might not wash as often like comforters and drapes for your windows and so that can get very stressful because the the deadline that's that's a thing other than that i usually wind up crafting something i have made uh those paper snowflakes like you do when you're in school uh, this year i made a yule log um a salt dough yule log which wound up being pretty simple i'm quite proud of that i've made a uh, candle carvings uh, carved candles i should say for ritual as well um and plenty of other creative endeavors for magical and ritual use that i will mention in other days uh in this challenge but the big thing for me is journaling um it's a dark half of the year and quite honestly doing internal work is more comfortable um, slowing down one of the reasons why I hesitated for this is like oh but what do I do I don't do a lot but what I do a lot of is journaling of some kind on my channel I have a whole category of plan with me uh, bullet journal setups and reviews and things like that I do them monthly but December and January is where I have a lot of journaling just in general across the board stuff that you don't even see in the videos um, the videos is like the culmination of all the other journaling I've done I do a lot of contemplating and reviewing of my year and then my month and then uh, planning for the next year and the next month in January and then also planning for February I do stuff personally spiritually for my business <laughs> for my regular day-to-day -day. Um, the and you know then I plan out the videos I'm gonna do to, to explain all of that and some of them have already gone up like um, my flip throughs of my bullet journal for the year and uh, my review of the year and my setup for next year and my annual objectives or goals for the new year then in january i have the stuff for reading um because i do like to kind of have a review of how my reading has gone um and so those videos like my least favorite books my most disappointing most surprising my favorite books of the year and sometimes if i have the energy left my stats my reading stats what's not in videos is my divination journal which may or may not be this year we'll see what happens um but i'm already going through that and like looking back on my year with uh my tarot cards and astrologically um, and then the journaling about the themes of the year my uh, spiritual journal I've been doing a whole year-long ritual this year and I've already been journaling about how that process is has been in a kind of looking back way uh, so and other other things that have happened spiritually and how that's impacted me coming forward stuff like that just just a lot of introspection and chill um and so that is the big tradition that i have um 
not being too active physically or uh, in an earthly practical way, though that does happen, um, but more I feel that the journaling and the introspection, like getting my thoughts onto paper, um, is definitely helpful for my mental health and my emotional health and uh, spurring me forward to keep going through this life really so um not super magical and mystical but um it's a thing i do some of my journal stuff uh, there's a lot of color magic in there there have been times where i do kind of like uh, writing or journaling uh, magic or ritual with the colors and the pens and stuff that I have. Um, I This season is just getting started so I don't know what I have planned exactly. I just go and with the with the flow on that part. Um, I'm thinking I might join in January uh, journal January I have a junk journal for a tarot deck that I want to get back to and finish up creating so um, that combines the journaling and the creative aspects for me but yeah um, Guys, like this video if you like this. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming. Um, tomorrow we'll talk about another tradition I have with regards to decorating. Um, so look forward to that. I'm decorating in my altar. I'll be sharing that for the first time. Um, and the rest of the 12 days of Yule and the rest of some of those videos I mentioned earlier with the with regards to the journaling. The links in the description to everything I've mentioned here, including what I said at the beginning about um, supporting Palestinians and also the people in Congo, in the Republic of Congo, excuse me. There's also my... Um, Instagram and Storygraph accounts if you'd like to follow me there as far as reading my Etsy shop information. There's also a 10% off discount code to my Etsy shop where I make all natural bath and body products for magical and mundane purposes. Some of them you'll see coming up. Guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!